We edge closer and closer to the 2022 World Strongest Man competition. And as you guys know, we love our stats and our facts when it comes to strongman. So we're gonna take a look at 30 interesting facts about this year's World Strongest Man. If Martins Lissis or Brian Shaw win World's Strongest Man this year, they become only the second athlete in history to win two World's Strongest Man titles more than two years apart. The only man to have done this so far is Magnus Ver Magnusson, who won his first World's Strongest Man title in 1991 and his second in 1994. Last year, Brian Shaw came very close to winning a record equaling fifth title. If he wins in 2022, he will break the record for the most years between his first and his last win. The current leaderboard stands at... Tied for third place, we have Magnus Ver Magnussen along with Zadrunas and Brian, who are currently on five years. And then in joint first place, it's Marius Pudzianowski and Jean-Paul Sigmundsson, who both have six years between their first and last title wins. This year we'll see three new countries represented at the World's Strongest Man. They are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Chile and Greenland. The most recent athletes to make their country's first World's Strongest Man appearance over the last 10 years are Gabriel Peña from Mexico, Konstantin Janasha representing Georgia, Matius Belsak from Slovenia and Thomas Rodriguez from Cuba in 2014. For nine straight years, which is 2013 to 2021, three different countries have been represented on the World's Strongest Man podium. Quietly going about his business at World's Strongest Man for nearly two full decades, Mark Felix has constantly been rewriting the history books. Here's a look at where he currently stands on a few leaderboards. He tops the leaderboard for the most appearances at World's Strongest Man. Currently 16, he's just about to compete in his 17th World's Strongest Man competition. Mark became the oldest ever finalist at World's Strongest Man in 2015, aged 49 years and nine days. He is currently second on the oldest athlete ever to compete at World's Strongest Man, behind Old Haugen, who competed at 56 years, 250 days. In 2021, Mark was 55 years and 65 days. If he competes at World's Strongest Man in 2023, Mark will also top that list. For the last five years, new champions have won the World's Strongest Man title, which is already a World's Strongest Man record. The current active streak consists of 2017 when Eddie Hall won, 2018 when it was Hathor Bjornsson, 2019 Martins Lises topped the podium, 2020 it was the turn of Alexei Novikov, and of course 2021 it was Tom Stompman. In previous years, the longest streak of new champions was three years. In 1991, we had Magnus Ver Magnussen. Then 92, it was Ted van der Paar. And then 93, it was Gary Taylor. And we had another three-year streak from 2000 to 2002 when it was Janni Vertsen, Sven Carlsen and Marius Pudzianowski. If Tom Stoltman were to successfully defend his title this year, it would be the ninth time an athlete won consecutive World's Strongest Man titles. Stoltman would be the eighth different athlete to win consecutive World's Strongest Man titles. Marius Pudzianowski won consecutive titles twice, 2002 to 2003, and 2007 and 2008. And he would be the first athlete to win back-to-back -back titles since Brian Shaw's victories in 2015 and 2016. If Brian was to win all six events in this year's World's Strongest Man final, which to be fair is unlikely, but still, <laughs> he would tie with Marius Pudzianowski for the most event wins in a World's Strongest Man final. Here's the current leaderboard. Out of the 44 World's Strongest Man competitions that have happened so far, 
we've had the winner of the first event go on to win the title 17 times. Adam Bishop has quite the impressive track record when it comes to deadlift events at World's Strongest Man. He has won seven out of eight deadlifts that he's done at World's Strongest Man, and that's across both the qualifying rounds and the final for reps or for max since 2018. The only time he didn't win it was in the 2020 final when it was the 18 inch deadlift for max, which was won by Alexei Novikov. Last year, all five men that placed second in their groups going into the stone off used that advantage to qualify for the final. Will we see that again this year? There will be no African athletes competing at this year's World's Strongest Man competition, which is the second time in 11 years, with the last time being 2020. Finland and the Netherlands will both be getting a spot at this year's World's Strongest Man, the first time since 2013. And France will be represented for the first time since the year 2000. Ukraine, however, get two spots this year, the first time since 2010. 15 of the 30 athletes competing at this year's World's Strongest Man have made the final before. And because of the way the groups are laid out this year, at least five of those former finalists will not be able to make the final this year. And of these 15 former finalists, four are returning champions, five have previously reached the podium, and eight have previously been in the top five. The USA has had more than one athlete in the World's Strongest Man final every year since 2005. The USA has also had one athlete on the podium in eight of the last nine years. The only exception was 2020. Great Britain has had at least one athlete in the World's Strongest Man final in 15 of the last 16 years, the exception being 2018. Canada has had at least one athlete in the World's Strongest Man final since 2014. And Iceland has had at least one athlete in the final in 11 of the last 12 World's Strongest Man competitions, the exception being 2020. Konstantin Janasha has made the final on all five of his World's Strongest Man appearances. This puts him in a very select group of athletes for consecutive World's Strongest Man final appearances to start a World's Strongest Man career. Meanwhile, Brian Shaw holds the most consecutive World's Strongest Man finals, 13 since 2009. Rob Kearney returns to the World's Strongest Man this year for his fourth appearance. If he makes the final this year, he will become only the fifth man to make the final after three or more unsuccessful attempts. Here's the current leaderboard for that statistic. Since the group stages were introduced in 1994, 24 of the 27 champions started off by winning their group. The three athletes that didn't win their groups were Juho Ahala in 1997, Marius Pudzianowski in 2002, and Tom Stoltman in 2021. Perhaps surprisingly, Luke Stoltman has never won the overhead event in his group in the six times he's competed at World's Strongest Man. Will he change that this year? Throughout the 45 year history of World's Strongest Man, only 84 men have won an event in the final of World's Strongest Man. The current athletes that will be competing this year that are on that list are Brian Shaw from the USA has won 17 events. Tom Stoltman has won seven events, six of which have been over the last two years. Adam Bishop from Great Britain has won two. Mark Felix has won two. Martin Zilisis has won two. And then we have Trey Mitchell, Alexei Novikov, and Luke Stoltman, all with one event win in the final. After a 25 year absence, the Flintstone lift is making a return to the world's strongest man. The most weight lifted on this event at world's strongest man was 210 kilos by Gary Taylor in 1995. But the official world record is 240 kilos, which was set by Mikhail Kuklaev in the 2006 Russia Grand Prix. Another event we haven't seen for a while at World's Strongest Man is the Power Stairs. This event has come and gone since its inception. <laughs> I've been struggling with that one. In the mid 90s, it's been used in the final seven times. 1996, 1998, 
2000, 2006, 2008, 2012, and 2015. Also, the car walk is making a return for the first time since 2014. At 44 years old, Manuel Angulo will become the second oldest rookie ever to compete at the World's Strongest Man. The oldest is Odd Haugen, who was 51 years old the first time he competed at World's Strongest Man. There you go. Anyone thinking they're too old for Strongman? You still have hope. Brian Shaw has never had to do the stone off at World's Strongest Man since the introduction in 2017. But if he does find himself in the stone off, he has an unbeaten stone head to head against every single athlete in his group. Nine times he's gone against Mark Felix on the Atlas Stones, nine times he has beaten him. Seven times against Konstantin Janasha, two times against Bobby Thompson, and only ever done stones against Gabe Pena one time. But he has never lost a stone battle against anyone in his group. Group three has two athletes competing who have both overcome testicular cancer. Rob Kearney from the USA and Gregor Shemansky, who's returning to World's Strongest Man for the first time since 2016 when he placed eighth in the final. Group two is the only group with three finalists from the 2021 World's Strongest Man competition. Brian Shaw, Bobby Thompson and Konstantin Janasha. While Group 4 is the only group with two former podium finishers, Martins Lysis, the former champion, and third place from 2021, Maxime Boudreaux. Giants Live is the official qualifying tour for the World's Strongest Man, and this year we have two athletes competing who have won Giants Live competitions but have yet to make the final of the World's Strongest Man. They are Rob Kearney, who won the 2017 Giants Live North American Open, and Evan Singleton, who won the 2019 Giants Live North American Open, plus the 2021 World Open and the 2021 Arnold UK. The last Giants Live international competition winner who never made a World's Strongest Man final was Akos Nash, who won the 2012 Giants Live Hungary, but never made it out of the group stages in the three years he competed at the World's Strongest Man in 2012, 13 and 15. But I am sure Evan and Rob will be keen to change that statistic this year. And finally, this year we have 10 newcomers to World's Strongest Man, which is the most we've had since 2016. That was tiring. <laughs> it was. I mean, I don't know where you got some of these facts from. There was a lot on there that I knew, but there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know as well. Well, actually, this is the point where I need to credit my fact guy, Eloa Fournier, who runs the Strongman Archives. Go check it out because it is full of tons of Strongman information. If you are like us and you like your Strongman data and history, it's a brilliant place to go and find out everything you need to know about Strongman. We hope you enjoyed the video, guys. World Strongest Man starts tomorrow. It's all very exciting. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are going to bring you daily updates, daily lives, daily absolutely everything. <laughs>